talking about security though, let's come further down south to the central region because there is also some political tension building up in the Agona West constituency where we are told that one person sustained gunshot wounds while several others also sustained minor injuries during a clash between persons believed to be members of the governing New Patriotic Party. Current member of parliament for the constituency, Cynthia Mamle Morrison, on the ticket of the NPP, is seeking to, re to be re-elected as an uh, independent candidate uh, and go to parliament to represent the people. The concern, we are told, happened in a clash between the current NPP candidate, the current NPP presidential candidate, his supporters, and the supporters of Cynthia Mamle Morrison, um, clashed, leading to guns being fired, people getting injured, and a whole host of misunderstanding that broke out following some uh, campaign activities. Let's speak to Thomas Kahn, a man who is in the central region uh, corresponding for us to give us an idea of what really happened and what the next uh, line of action is from that of the security agencies. Thomas, thank you for joining us on Election 360. It's a, a heated electoral period, we're told, within the area. What really transpired? Briefly narrate that for us. So, Martin, what we do know is that uh, yesterday, uh, the camp of Cynthia Morrison had a, a rally uh, ongoing at uh, one of the communities within the, com uh, the constituency. Just when the event was going on, uh, uh, we are told that the NPP parliamentary candidate, that is Chris Arthur, was also embarking on his uh, Israel campaign tour uh, in the same constituency. And uh, uh, moving into another community, uh, he had to go through uh, uh, exactly the point uh, Sister Morrison uh, was having uh, her event. So they had to dri drive through uh, that uh, same route uh, to make way to get to uh, they had a destination. Unfortunately, uh, uh, when they got to where C.J. Morrison uh, and her campaign team were having their event, uh, uh, just when they were driving through uh, for their event, that is when the scaffold began. Uh, both sides, that is C.J. Uh, Morrison's camp and uh, as, uh, camp, are uh, all blaming each other for what happened. They are claiming that uh, they were just driving through when uh, the camp of C.J. Morrison uh, attacked them. The camp of C.J. Morrison, they are also claiming that they were already having their event when Chris Atta and his team also drove through recklessly uh, trying to attack them. But again, uh, in all of this thing that is going on, uh, I'm currently joined by one of the secretary, uh, secretaries of C.J. Uh, Morrison, uh, who is going to tell us exactly what happened? Hello, uh, sir. Good morning. Uh, you are live on TV3. This is uh, election 360. Uh, please tell us your name. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Owusu, a champion. So we are told that there was a scaffold that led to some gun being fired. Tell us exactly what happened yesterday. Uh, as a matter of fact, just as I um, uh, address various media outlets, uh, I think that we need to. have a bad honorable uh, since honorable had intention to contest as uh, independent candidates of uh, Agona West uh, several incidents have occurred Se several incidents have occurred to, to mark and uh, luckily we have uh, the woman herself Cynthia Morrison here uh, who would narrate uh, what exactly happened thank you very much you are live on TV3 this is election 360 uh, grateful to have you uh, uh, please, uh, can you tell us what really happened to, uh, to, for us to record all of Yesterday was a very beautiful day. Um, last week I went to the community mm -hmm. to consult my um, common chief that I'll be coming to campaign in his electoral area. And he gave me permission. I went to all the traditional elders in the community, including the Obusapeni, um, to tell them. So Sunday was the program. We went there peacefully. It rained and then we had a wedding. So we got there around three. And we finished sharing our t-shirt and 
gathering was so large. We went through with the police presence. We wrote a letter to the guy and said to Nyako Police Command, give us permission to go out. And they drew my itinerary. Everywhere I got to, there was a police person who would direct us as to where to pass. Then we go to the main rally ground. That was the junction. Then the police officers asked that my driver to even come a bit further because um, the van, you know, holding onto the system was close, should have been closer to me because when I was talking, they couldn't hear me. Everything was done well. I started talking, was jubilating, I was dancing with the people. And then any car that passed, the police would ask the people to move aside and then the car passed through. And then I saw a large convoy coming. Then the police officers asked that the people move aside. And then the convoy stayed. At midway, I saw a van with the inscription of the PC. So I realized I was a convoy. Then they came to pass. I continued whatever I was saying. We were chanting our songs. And MPP, we have this song that we used to sing. And it is the Asafut song in my constituency. So even before I knew it was for NPP, my Asafut people, that is a song they would sing for me anytime I'm, I'm, with, I'm having a program. Which is here, which is here, then we we'll sing along. So that was the song I was singing. And then they, I thought they had left the community. We continue with our program. Hello, Thomas Khan. Ah, we seem to have lost that connection to Thomas Khan, who is our reporter. And she was, he was actually interacting with Cynthia Morrison, who is the independent candidate in the Agona West constituency. Unfortunately, I think that line uh, got cut or got truncated, but she was giving a submission or a narration of what from her perspective happened, that she was at a rally uh, with her people, they were by the roadside with the police, so anytime people or vehicle was passing, her supporters were asked to step aside for vehicles to pass until one of the uh, set convoys coming in where uh, MPP members got there and then the scuffle happened. She was just about giving us details of how it even commenced and then we got uh, the, the line... I got a big jumpy and we've lost it. But certainly, um, in subsequent bulletins, our reporter, Thomas Khan, will update us on how they are intending to resolve that current impasse in the Agona West constituency.